Hey team, yeah, it's 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. Um, had a bit of a sleep in. I've got to admit, the last thing on my mind is uh, going for a hunt. During the week, she's been cold, wet, and windy. Not a very good combination. I was talking to TJ on Thursday. Um, he's quite keen to get out there, actually, almost hitting panic stations. We're sort of moving towards the tail end of the raw, and he hasn't bagged the stag yet. I'm not holding my hopes up for this afternoon because of the wind. It's pretty windy here, so that means it's usually twice as bad up there. Um, tomorrow's forecast is looking better, so we might get a shot off tomorrow. So I'm just going to quickly pack my bags and uh, sort myself out and have a quick clean up, and then uh, TJ should be here by then. And we'll see you up in the hills. Thanks. Just made into Spot X uh, team. A bit of a challenge getting up the hill. The old wet bush and uh, slippery rocks made it challenging. Um, we've only come in here for a morning shoot. We actually haven't come up here with a full pack. So yeah, with the old 30 kilo pack, it took a little bit longer than anticipated, but we made it here. Just gonna set up a sleeping area. Um, the old clag still set in. I sort of said that, but uh, someone wanted to get up here early. And uh, we'll, just set up <laughs> we'll just set up for a morning shoot and hopefully the old bag is blown off. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. Well team here just set up camp, um, not the best sleeping conditions, um, actually probably one of the worst. As you can see there's a few rocks around, no flat ground, um, that's why I brought the old bivy bag and fly, not the old tent, there's no way the old tent will fit in here. Old TJ set up his camp as well, he's got his clothes hanging out on the line, funny thing is it's raining though so I don't know if his clothes are going to get dry. I'm going to put the old billy on and have a hot drink and then come up with a bit of a plan. Looking around there's a lot of clag and not much else to see so it's going to be a bit of a quiet night for me. Because you still want to come out and feel it. Because cause my toes are numb, bro. <laughs> my toes are numb, bro. I can't feel my toes. Well, team, that's uh, day one. A uh, bit of a non eventful one. Ended up having dinner at old TJ's. Just gonna climb into my bivy bag and try and keep warm. It's just going on six o'clock and I'm freezing my ass, so it's time to go to bed. See you in the morning. Morning team, yeah, bit of a rough night. Um, rained all night, it was a little bit windy towards uh, midnight. And she was bloody cold, I'm wearing a few layers. Where I'm sleeping is not on a flat point, it's on a slight lean. Um, I woke up twice and I'd actually slid out of the fly. Lucky I was in my bivy bag, otherwise I'd have wet feet. I'm going to get up shortly and <coughs> have a bit of a coffee and some porridge. Um, hopefully their clag's blown over and we'll see some animals. Me. Uncle Toby's porridge and some Makona strong coffee. I mean. Hey Timmy, I just set up my gear. The old clag's moving around a bit now. I can see a little bit. Hopefully it clears up a little bit more. I think if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen fast. TJ's just gone around the corner. Put our radios on and we'll just see what happens. Okay. You wouldn't receive your benefits, but we would refund your beneficiaries of all premiums you have paid. Well, team, yeah, in between Clegg, I've seen a few hinds and the one stag. Um, he's lucky his head wasn't bigger, otherwise I would have waxed him. It's quite a big recovery where he is. I'm not really that keen to go over and recover a spiker that far. I um, might have a bit of lunch and then come up with a game plan for the rest of the day. I mean, hey, team, yeah, a bit of an update. Um, we spotted a stag in a clearing so we made our way around. He's actually bedded down now, we can see him between the branches. I was uh, contemplating shooting between the branches but decided not to. So we're just waiting for him to hopefully he'll come out in the clearing again. And whilst we were waiting we seen another stag, um, six pointer. Don't think it was as good as this one so we're just going to wait for this one. So hopefully he gets up and uh, we'll get the opportunity to take a shot. Um, TJ is real keen to go recover that meat. Uh, I'm going to guide him over. Cuss, cuss, cuss. Got us some cookies. <laughs> Got us some cookies, cuss. Oh. He's just, just stood up. 
Now if he goes to the left, I'll have the opportunity for a shot. If he goes to the right, we're going home. Here we come. Oh, he's going up. Oh, it's not looking good. Just behind, just take my feet behind. Here he is. Go for a good angle. Well, he waited a long time for him to get up and then he went up and I wasn't sure where he was going. And then we uh, sort of just kept an eye on the clearing and then the two hinds come out that he was looking after. So I just set up and waited for him to come behind them and sure enough he followed behind them. Bit of a bit of a hard shooting rest but I um, pulled the shot off 550 yards. It's going to be a massive recovery and um, not really looking forward to that. Me. Well team, the Tatonka is all packed up, ready to go, finally. You can see where I slept, there was bug or room, hence sleeping in the old bivvy bag. Couldn't bring the tent on this mission. But that was a little bit uncomfortable, I was pretty warm, I had my Domex Halo sleeping bag, because she was pretty nippy last night. Uh, we'll get down this hill, um, get up the other side and try and track the stag before it gets too dark. See you down the bottom. Hey team here, just a quick update, we're about three quarters way down from our blind. Um, as you can see by the terrain it's quite steep and uh, very slippery in the wet. I've been down here in a day pack but not with a full pack so I'm um, going down pretty slow. It's better safe than sorry. Well team here we finally made it to the bottom. That was uh, pretty sketchy. I think I'm going to have to check my undies. It's going to be a reflection of the trip down the hill. I think anyone would agree with long range shooting. Shooting it's the easy part. Recovering it is the hard part. We just made it to the bottom, we'll go down the riverbed for a bit, and then up the other side. Well team, yeah, we just got to that stag. Um, I'm pretty sure I spotted him about two months ago in Velvet, so it's uh, pretty fortunate to come back and actually whack him. Doesn't always happen like that. So we'll quickly uh, bone them up and get out of here. When we were coming up it was quite slippery and there's quite a bit of stinging needle. Mind you the stinging needle wasn't that bad this time of year but uh, touch water haven't been zapped so hopefully on the way out I don't get a zap either. I oh, will get into it. Well team the old darkness is almost upon us. We just boned out that stag. Still need to get down back down the bottom, get to our big packs, load up and then walk out of here. See you down the bottom. Well team, we just made it to our backpacks. I uh, got zapped twice on the way down by the Onga Onga. We're just going to transfer the immediate to our big packs and walk out of here. Makes it all worthwhile when you come home with the bacon. Sort of don't mind coming up in the wet, getting soaked, sleeping on rocks. As long as you come home with something, makes it all worthwhile. Mean team, we'll see you down the bottom. Well team here we just made it to Woodville, just recharging the old batteries. Just reflecting on the mission, I wanted to work on my uh, pack management. It's a lot better than what it was, but still a bit of room for improvement. It's a bit of a battle of the um, elements, battled the wet, battled the cold, battled the clag. Had an uncomfortable sleep on the rocks, but um, quite satisfying to um, pull the shot off and come away with the bacon. So I hope you enjoyed that mission, and we'll see you on the next one eh? Main. Where's your, yes. where's your debrief? Yep. See, there was a cuss. Yep. Where's your